Before we address the concept of color temperature, let us first determine what exactly light is and which colors it is comprised of. Light is an established name for electromagnetic radiation with wavelength from 440 to 700 nanometers. Human eye can only perceive electromagnetic waves within this range. Lower values correspond to blue spectrum, higher values to red spectrum. Waves outside this range are called infrared and ultraviolet. People perceive white light as a combination of all waves from the visible spectrum. For instance, white light in colored TV sets is produced as three rays of different colors are mixed together, and vice versa. A rainbow in the sky represents breakdown of white light into separate components. We call a surface black if it does not reflect any light rays at all and emits no electromagnetic waves within the entire spectral range. Whereas the color of an unheated non radiant object, that is, one of its reflective properties, can be described through its wavelength or its reciprocal variable frequency. This is different in case with heated and radiating ones. Let's imagine a perfectly black object that is, the one that reflects no light rays. For the purpose of a simple experiment, let us assume it is a tungsten filament in an electric bulb. We connect this lamp to an electric circuit via rheostat or an adjustable transformer, turn off the light, supply electricity and start observing the filament's colors as we gradually decrease voltage on the rheostat. At a certain point, our perfectly black object will start to gleam with barely visible red light. If one is to measure its temperature at this point, it will be around 900 degrees Celsius. Since all emissions are determined by atoms' movement speed with equals zero at zero degrees Kelvin or minus 237 degrees Celsius, this is exactly the basis of superconductivity. Let's withdraw from Celsius scale from now on and refer to Kelvin scale only. Thus, visible radiation of a perfectly black object starts at 1200 K and corresponds to the red border of the spectrum. Put it simply, red color has color temperature of 1200 K. Should we continue to heat up the filament and measure its temperature, we will see it turn orange at 2000 K and yellow at 3000 Kelvin. Having reached 3500 Kelvin, our filament will burn out, as this is tungsten's melting point. However, if this had not happened, we would have seen white color at 5500 K, bluish at 6000 Kelvin. If heated further, the filament would have been turned into deeper shades of blue all the way to 18,000 Kelvin, which corresponds to the violet border of the spectrum. It is exactly these numbers that are referred to as radiation's color temperature. Each color has its color temperature.